I'm doing the BA Arts and Humanities for the foundation year, which I'm in the foundation year at the moment, So, but I'm going to be taking um, History of Art with Italian from September. And I'm studying media. I'm doing Italian as an elective with that. I think it's important to um, show that you can do other things, not just related to your degree. Oh well, I do my major are two languages, French and Spanish, so they help me with Italian because some words are very similar and with regarding the grammar, it's easy to pick up a different language when you're so used to studying grammar in two languages already. And it's really nice in the classes that I found that um, that everybody does some, because everybody does something different and it's in a language elective. Um, we're quite a mixed bunch and we all became quite, I think we've become quite supportive of one another. Okay, the teachers are the best thing about Sussex because they're very supportive and they, um, they don't put a lot of pressure on you. They make you aware that they're always there if you want to email them for help, if you want to go and see them outside of class or if you haven't understand the le if you haven't understood the lesson, they'll always be there to go through it again. Like, they're very supportive in that way and it's a lot of fun as well. It's a beautiful language to learn, I think. Um, I really enjoy it. Yeah, I'm constantly learning new, new things about it and it's fun to practice as well. If you have the opportunity to go to the language cafe, I would think that that would be great because the one thing you really, uh, really good for you to do is to speak the language more often. Um, and they have a buddy board here, at, which I think is a really great idea. And use the language centre. It's a really nice place. And you can bring a coffee in. <laughs> yeah, I always come into languages learning centre because it's very quiet and relaxed and you can get work done very easily. And there are so many facilities. There are computers, you can watch films, there are loads of books, exercise books. So, you know, you're, you won't be stuck here. There's plenty to do. I don't have any exams for anything else, but I do have exams for Italian. But the revision is a lot more relaxed. No, it's not like facts, like f trying to get all the facts into your head. It's it's just um, it's just learning new words and uh, learning about the culture. It's it's just fun. I would really like to be an interpreter. Just something I want to always use the languages. Otherwise, I'll lose it. Or a teacher, maybe maybe teach abroad, te teach English in Spain or teach English in France, maybe something like that. But I think interpreter is my main goal. I think it'd be so interesting and a lot of fun to do. Um, well, I do media, so a lot of uh, Italian cinema I've been getting into, and I think that could be possibly a place where I could live one day if I could find a, a job in the media there. For me, I wanted to complement the art history, um, and I think it will. Um, in my future career, I do hope to have a career. I know I'm quite old to start a new career, but um, I, I do hope that it will be based some part of it in Italy and it will be very useful. <laughs> to, I think it will add an extra string to my bow. Wherever I go, language is always um, helpful. And as I speak um, French a little bit, or well, a bit more than a little bit already, having Italian will be just a huge bonus, I think.